This is d -Rez Pop Culture News and Views on Clownfish TV. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about our, our favorite subject. Well, I guess it's not really our favorite subject. It's one of our favorite subjects. Not even one of our favorite no, subjects. No, I don't know what you're talking about. No, uh, Captain Marvel. We're going to talk about Captain Marvel. And the reason we're talking about Captain Marvel is there have been reactions uh to the the early screening of captain marvel and i wonder what was going on because we were actually getting a lot of hits on our old captain marvel videos right all of a sudden like like why are we getting all these hits on our captain marvel oh oh i see they had a screening um and everybody's raving about it which shouldn't surprise well, not everybody that's why i said to you every everybody one one person one Did you person. look to see other people? Uh, not very many people. Steve Steve Weintraub from Collider is raving see, about it. See, he's explaining this to me as he's explaining it to you because I, I'm coming into this. Yeah, so Steve Weintraub uh, from Collider is raving about Captain Marvel and, and Captain Marvel's cat. So because Steve Weintraub of Collider is raving, it must be the best damn movie Ever. No, I did hear about the cat though. I did hear people were saying the cat, the cat steals the movie, which I am one hundred percent behind. The cat stealing the movie. I think. Well, that's pretty sad though. When that's the best you got. It's a <laughs> like, cat. How is cat? How's the movie? Well, the cat was pretty funny. The cat was pretty funny. Well, that is what they're all talking about is the cat. So yeah. Uh... So the Mary Sue seems they seem a little salty about. It, but I, I just want to point out here, Steve Weintraub. I don't know uh, Steve Weintraub uh, at all uh, from Collider. But he um, he he called it with solo too. <laughs> um, he really, really, I've got a really good. He really loved uh, solo, which actually I actually don't mind bad. solo. But he really pushed hard for solo, and no, it's um, they had the, the, such high numbers of pre-sales. Yeah, I want to go into that before we get into the uh, the hype machine. I guess that's really what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the the hype machine for this movie it's it's taken off it's leaving the station the train is leaving the station and it's going to go off the freaking rails here in a few weeks um so captain marvel has the highest first day ticket sales of any marvel movie right so that's that's what was the one that was more better uh i think black panther was it but black panther didn't yeah, solo, black panther. solo outsold black panther correct you are you are correct um so I'm just putting this out there. I'm seeing a lot of I'm seeing a lot of similarities between Solo and Captain Marvel. I'm seeing a lot of um, me with the hype machine. The hype machine, yes. The way they're promoting the movie, it's got record-breaking ticket sales. It's the best thing ever. Steve Weintraub approves. Big thumbs up for the cat. So, and plus, it, <laughs> I, you know, I mean, I, I'm just I'm I, sorry. I, I'm giving a thumbs up for the cat. I, I mean, I'll give it a thumbs up for the cat. But oh, I'm just saying, I mean, it's a cat. Of course, I'm gonna give a thumbs up for the cat. I'm not. I'm not gonna say that the movie's gonna bomb. I don't. I don't think it's going to bomb. I don't even know if it's possible for a Marvel movie at this point to bomb. I think it would take a series of disappointments to make it bomb. But it might not do as well as people are hoping well, it's just, going to do. I, I don't know. I actually I don't want it to be bad. I actually kind of want it to be good. But uh, I'm not holding my breath. But um. What I'm worried about, what I'm worried about is they're going to take this and because it's a female movie, even though there's been female characters in Avengers and stuff before, um, it, this is this is the reason that everything's here. She's the bestest, the fastest, the most greatest Mary Sue ever. And I'm tired of them taking characters and Mary Suing the hell out of them. I'm just tired of it. Uh, I think that's going to happen anyway. I mean, they're already building and we, we did a previous video on this and that was a video that was actually getting hits. Uh, it started getting a lot of hits today, and we started getting a lot of comments on it, which is why I'm like, well, there must be something going on with Captain Marvel. Um, I think they are going to use her as the anchor for the MCU post-Endgame uh, because they tried doing this with the comics on multiple occasions. Yeah, and it nobody, doesn't work. It never works. It never seems so to work. So why would you think it's going to work now? That's what, I'm, that's what I'm not understanding. Because it's a movie and not a comic book. I just, I just, I mean... Because comic book fans are nasty, nasty men who just didn't give Carol Danvers a chance the four or five times that she had a book. Uh, so clearly it's their fault. But now that we're going to a general audience, they're all, everybody's going to love her. Look, I don't want it to suck. I really don't. Nobody wants it to um, suck. Nobody wants a bad I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to hold out for it because immediately in the trailers, they started with the whole, they need a, a her 
oh, a hero. hero, you know, <laughs> and it's like, and all that. And I was like, I even was, I, I was even like, really more willing to give a chance than a lot of people. And I was like, uh, when I saw that, I was like, really? Why can't you say we need a hero? Yeah, hey, we- there she is. It, why, why does it matter if it's a hero? Why can't it just be a hero? I mean, why does it, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a hero or a hero. It's just a hero, you know, <laughs> I'm like. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't. I don't understand the, you know, and we talked before about the comparing the marketing of, of Wonder Woman to Captain Marvel and, and Wonder Woman did not have to play up the fact that Wonder Woman was a woman. I mean, obviously it was in her name, right? but, but you know what I'm it saying? It was like, yeah. it's a superhero movie. It looks pretty badass, right? And Go they did, see it. But they didn't have to marry Sue her up. That's no. what I'm saying. It wasn't, you know, you knew you were going to get Wonder Woman and she's in the kick some ass and it was going to, but she was, you know, a real character with her flaws and everything else. It, it, this just seems like I'm hoping it's good. I want it to be good. I want to come out of it and say, guess what? It is actually good. And if it's Marvel, it probably might not be that bad because Marvel actually takes things that are sometimes they're really stupid and makes it good. Yeah, I mean, but, I, I never would have expected Guardians of the Galaxy to be good. I never would have expected Ant Man to be good. I know. I never really um, like Ant Man. So. You know, but we've also had you know Thor: The Dark World. Yeah, we've didn't had like Iron Man too. Didn't like you know, that one either. So we've had a couple of misfires. Not. Not, not, not recently, not since like post Disney. But they're not so bad that I would never watch them again, kind of thing. So I don't know. I, I really won't watch Iron Man two again. Yeah, I, I, you know, but they were early on. They were early mm. on. Uh, you know, this one though, I just think that they are prematurely banking a hell of a lot on Carol Danvers being the new figurehead of the Marvel Universe, and we don't even know if audiences are actually going to like her. Well, no, I think what's going on is when they had the trailers come out and people weren't too thrilled about mm. it. They're like, why is she pinching people and not smiling and all that? I think that they're like, oh, crap, and this is all what they're trying to do to damage control, preemptive damage control. Like, we're going to get out there the best thing ever. We're afraid it's going to take a hit on who's going to come see the movie. So yeah. go do those Kickstarters, get the kids all free tickets. Yeah, they're like, and, it's crazy. And, you know, crazy. do they're... it for Black Panther, too. Yeah. Get the kids free tickets, and we'll pay for them to go. We'll just pump it up, pump it up. Girl power, girl power, girl power, girl power. Do I mention girl power? You must love this movie. If you movie. don't like it, it's because you don't like strong women. Yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. But meanwhile, uh, Wonder Woman made a shit ton of money, as I yes, recall. Yes, and I like, and, I like um, strong women. I like strong women that aren't Mary Sue's. So I'm just hoping and hoping that she's not. But I am happy that the cat is the extremely cat is... popular. I, I did see people talking about the cat on social media a couple days ago, about how great the cat is, and the cat steals the show. The, the cat steals the show. Must see this movie stat just for... The cat, according okay, to Steve Weintraub, just for the cat. I would. I'd pay money just to see the movie for the cat. Can we just like, like cut, like cut out two hours of the movie and just have like fifteen minutes of the cat? Now it's goose instead of chewy, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's goose instead of chewy. Uh, because I, I'm, I'm waiting. Here's what I'm waiting for. We talked about this before we started recording. I am waiting for Disney to pull the ultimate uh, crossing of the streams and be like, hey, that galaxy far, far away takes place in the MCU. Oh, it better not. So there actually was a Chewbacca, you know, hundreds of thousands of years ago in the MCU. I'd be like, oh my God, you better not do that. Hey, I don't know. They might think, you know, there's money to be made. I don't know. know. They're they're realizing that they have to step carefully because people are getting pissed. I don't know if they would be that dumb. I so, really don't. I, this is, you know, Collider, which, you know, people have had opinions about Collider. You know, and we can talk about, look, you know, these 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 nerd uh, news sites, these geek news sites, right? They are, a lot of them, I'll be honest, they're bought and paid for by the studios. Yeah, I mean, are. some of them blatantly bought and paid for by the studios, like Nerdist. What is this? I don't think this one is. This is this is the Hindustan Times. I don't think they're bought. And paid I for. I don't even know what this is. This this is I'm talking about Collider though, um, and they're independently owned, but they're still kind of in the back pocket of the studios. Right. And you look at Nerdist. Uh, Nerdist is literally owned by Warner Brothers. Like I mean, you can't really take any of their opinions uh, seriously because. They're owned by Legendary Pictures, which is owned by Warner Brothers. So any like Warner project, any DC Comics project, anything associated, you know, Cartoon Network, they're gonna have praise right. for it. They're gonna, right. you know, you gotta I get mean, an honest opinion. I'm sorry, I'm distracted because if I'm not mistaken, the cat isn't actually a cat, right? The and, cat is not actually. And a cat, it was so yeah. funny because before then, did we just spoil the whole movie? Now no, nobody's gonna go see it, no, and they're gonna blame us. They're gonna typical. blame us. Anyway, everybody, no, I mean that's been out there. But what I was thinking. 
thinking of, it was so funny because before I even thought about, you know, thought about this like a minute ago, all I kept thinking of is what we need is a Cat Matter Space movie. We need to redo a Cat Matter Space. <laughs> and remake. I was just joking about it. And then I'm thinking in my head, they need that. Then I saw the cat. I'm like, wait, doesn't the cat have, yeah, the cat's not really a cat, isn't it? Doesn't it have like weird powers? And I'm like, oh my God, it's a Cat Matter Space. Oh my God. That's what Captain <laughs> Marvel <laughs> is. Disney has remade the cat from outer space. I'm like, That's what Captain Marvel I, is. Then I saw this comment about it's not fully a cat, which I already knew. It's a mysterious cat. The cat does things we don't expect for it to do, and it's very surprising. It can happen at random times. Cat from outer space! There we go. Uh, so here's another. I'm here's excited, here's Trouble Dude. I don't think Trouble Dude's quite as big as uh, Steve Weintraub with his blue check. Uh, I've been to a recent Captain Marvel test screen. I can vouch that Carol Danvers oh, will be God. the next. Will be be next Marvel's face. Will be next Marvel. She will be next Marvel's face. <laughs> I think he, yeah, charismatic and imposing. Danvers came to stay. The movie is amazing, and I'm still in a trance. This fem this is female power, guys. Yes, because we put you in trances. That's what we do. We have meetings. female female power. There are books. How to put men in trances with female power? I'm telling you, it's out there. Uh, she. This will be next Marvel's face, and and this looks like. I was this, watching that. It was like, what is that? This, this looks like she. You know, this looks like a bag of dicks. Is what this looks like. I no, don't they're know what roots, it looks like. but she. She will rip your dicks off, boys. Her and her magic space cat. That's this movie's gonna be so. I don't know. I, I, I still. I mean. I don't, want, I, don't, I really don't want it to suck. I Nobody really don't wants want it, it to suck. suck. No, I, and I'm I'm being honest here. I don't want it to suck either. But but I'm looking at the way they're promoting this movie, and I'm seeing so many similarities. Too. That's why I'm worried. <laughs> so. And I think they're worried because mostly Marvel movies, like even Ant Man Wasp, they didn't really promote it that much. Or like, yep, it's out. It made some money. I'm Boom. not even thinking so you know? though. I'm seeing the same kind of things we saw with Nutcracker in the Four Realms. With wrinkle in time, wrinkle especially. In time. Yes. I know I'm yes. seeing a lot of similarities. Yeah. That's what I'm getting nervous about because it seems like when they don't think something's going to do as well as they hoped it would do, then this is what this is the kind of steps you see them doing. And I'm catching this. I'm noticing that. that I'm There's the a same, pattern to how Disney same does treatment this. With yeah. Solo, yeah. Same treatment with Wrinkle in Time, same treatment with Nutcracker in the Four Realms, and now this. I mean, that's what I'm concerned about. I think Black Panther caught them off guard. I, I think Black Panther, I don't think they expect the Black Panther to to be as big of a hit as yeah, it was. I don't know why I didn't expect it. Because to be. they were pulling some of this with the Black Panther too, with the promotion of it. And I think I think it's because the Black Panther, you know, in the comics even is kind of a B list superhero. It wasn't like a major household name. Um but I don't think they expected it to be the the huge hit that it was. But you're right, Disney when they start to I, a few months out, they start to kind of panic internally, like this might not go well. Uh quick, let's put a story out there that the tickets are selling like hotcakes. Uh, quick, let's you know um, get these these uh, influencers in here. Yeah, but the influencers, yeah, promote well, it. Well, that's, like Steve what the, Weintraub. that's what you're pointing out. You're saying he fantastic things to say about Solo, and yes. he's saying about this, which you know it's like okay. I mean, now personally, I don't mind so that much. I don't think it's the best Star Wars movie ever made, but I don't think it's the worst one. I actually came out of it happy comparative to Last Jedi. But um, because it wasn't completely but, awful, but, but you don't have a a big flop going into it from Marvel to be comparative to. You know what I'm saying? Like, last, yeah, Solo there's nothing was a to compare it to. compared to Jedi. So you know, this last this that was out here with the Marvel was uh, was the uh, the Avengers, the last Avengers film, mm. so, and everybody you know it was fantastic. Everybody loved it. So I. You know, I'm, but I am seeing a lot of similarities yeah. to the hype that they do when they don't think something's going to do well. And if it does well, I mean, th here's where I'm torn too, because you know we'll see how the audiences react to it. But if it does uh, well, it could also be riding, and, and that could even be kind of true of Black Panther riding the hype train for Avengers. People are absolutely going to go see this because it ties in directly to Avengers. And I'm still saying, I'm, I'm sticking to it. Uh, I think. Uh, she is going to be the Deuce Ex Machina, and she is going to she is going to be the one who stops Thanos to cement her as being the most powerful hero in the Marvel universe. Yeah, I just have a and the I have rumor. A the rumors out suspicious. there is that they're going to be done, but that Cap's going to be gone. Yeah, so, so you she'll need take somebody else place. to come in. Yeah. And, um, you know, so, because he's there, you know, even the actor's been saying, like, dropping some comments about, you know, but wanting to be done. And, you know, so. Can't have two captains but, on the ship. But cap, I think it's, I know, I, I know, that's what I've been joking. But I see this first Captain Marvel screen reaction is praise of the cat. Yes, that's what I kept hearing. I kept hearing on Twitter, everybody's going on about how the cat's great. I kept hearing that too. And people, and, and you know, and it wasn't just that guy. That's what other people were saying about it, but the cat was really good. 
So, is this person mad about the cat being uh, I, th I think they kind of were like, what? Like the president cat. You're not hearing anything about Brie Larson. Yeah, so I'm saying you're about the cat. That's weird. Uh, that's kind of weird. look, Nick Fury and the cat. Nick Fury and the cat. The cat's cute. Go see it for the cute cat. Go see it because it's a Marvel movie and you're to gonna see, love it. We probably get to see how Nick Fury loses his eye. I mean, it's worth going to see it just for that. The cat probably scratches his eye out. Nah, I don't think so. I, I think I think there's gonna be some some Cree shenanigans and he's gonna lose. His so eye I mean, we get to see way, how he. But... I think that everybody knows he's probably gonna lose his eye in this one. And the cat. There's the two redeeming qualities. Um, Watching Here's... him get maimed and no, every once in a while he lost his eye though. Everybody's they do, like, and then they're probably gonna explain how they lost his eye in this one. So everybody's gonna want to go see it just because I heard people say, actually say, I'm only going to see it to see well, how Nick Fury loses his eye. Oh I've actually God. seen people comment on this. I want to go see the cat because apparently the cat is something to see, and I love the cat from outer space. And this to me seems as close as I'm gonna get to a. Uh, 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 reboot on that, you know, because we, we shouldn't reboot everything, you know. No. That's, I still stand by that. However, that would have been a good one to reboot. Yeah, there you go. There I would go. love to see the cat from outer space uh, rebooted. <laughs> so the cat from outer space. I think they did that. They did with No, they did Christina that darn Ritchie, cat. Right? That oh, was that, that darn, darn cat. I can't tell them I part. love that darn cat also. Okay. See, I know all these movies. I grew up with these movies, man. They were old for when I was a kid, but we still watched them all. I loved them. Haley Mills movies were good too. I loved them. So Steve Weintraub, uh, when they bring Steve Weintraub out, that means the movie is potentially in trouble. Yeah. So I'm just saying, I'm just, he's got a really good feeling about this. Uh, and uh, when they start bragging about the, the ticket pre-sales, that means that the, the movie is, is potentially in trouble because they want you to get on that bandwagon. This is, I mean, this is like, I better go buy my tickets now. Right, might sell right, out. right. And then we um, went to see Solo and there was literally like, like a handful of people in the theater besides us. Like on, 10 people total. Yeah, it was, us. it was Thursday. Yeah, it was Thursday Thursday night. And that was actually, uh, you know, we said before, that was the same theater we saw Infinity War in. And you couldn't even, they, you couldn't <laughs> sit. No seats. Yeah, there were no seats. No seats. Uh, same with uh, Last Jedi. It was very, very packed. Yeah, yeah. Um, couldn't, no seats. Yeah, but uh, we Solo. We Solo, and it was like maybe 10 people nobody, total, including us. Nobody. <laughs> so. It was like, wow. And I remember sitting there thinking, like, this isn't. This isn't gonna. This isn't gonna end well, you know. Yeah. Um, so, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how the movie is. Uh, I just think it's it's interesting to note how their the marketing is very very similar to Solo, and like you said, I think that means that internally uh, Disney's like we might have a problem. So let's do something about it now. Let's do something about it now. Let's. But the uh, cat is great, apparently. Yes. What, the we'll takeaway is the cat. I, they don't really say much about. I mean, there's a little bit about her, but most of it's about the cat. That's concerning. Well, I'm, I'm happy <laughs> to go watch the cat. I mean, I love cats. So I'm like, I'll go watch it just for the cat. It's two hours of the cat licking itself. I'll do, I watch that here. But I get yeah, popcorn I, if I go there. Yeah, if you actually watched our cat lick itself with popcorn, I'd be really, <laughs> I'd be concerned. I would be concerned. Um, <laughs> please don't watch the cat lick its ass with a bowl of popcorn. <laughs> okay, I don't it's do that. It's time for Geeky to go to the mental ward. I don't that do that. Point. <laughs> um, so yeah, take it from Steve. It's going to be the bestest, ama most amazing thing ever. Uh, he called Solo. He'll he's calling Captain Marvel too, and uh, he's also made of Legos or Pez. Uh, any man who's made of Legos or Pez is worth listening what to. What is it? I don't know. Plastic? I don't know. He's clearly clearly well, I'll give him kudos for creativity. Clearly worth listening to. Hey, Buck What's Rogers. This you know, spoilers. Something? Goose takes down Thanos. What's that? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'd pay for to watch the cat take down Thanos. Oh I God. would totally pay for that. All right, ready? All right, we're going to wrap this one up. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to the channel for more pop culture news, views, rants, gaming videos, art videos, and more. This has been Neon and Geeky. Bye. Go get yourself a bucket of popcorn. Watch your cat like it's ass. No, don't do that. <laughs> Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.